Ah, oh, just imagine looking out over the marina in Monaco and seeing a sea full of basic $100 million yachts. But then you see this. A breathtaking yacht so innovative, so futuristic, that you have to submit an application to even find out how much it costs. Meet the Royal Falcon 1, a yacht painstakingly designed by Studio F.A. Porsche over the course of 10 years, and perhaps one of the most incredible yachts I've ever encountered. Today, we're going to take a thorough look at the Royal Falcon 1. We'll talk about the design, all the luxurious amenities on board, and how exactly this revolutionary yacht came to be. It's no secret that Porsche makes high-quality vehicles. From the actual architecture and engineering of their vehicles to the smallest details inside, every element of their work is both thoughtful and innovative. So it's no surprise that other companies have wanted to collaborate with Porsche to make something out of this world. Take Singapore-based firm Royal Falcon Fleet, who approached Studio F.A. Porsche with hopes of collaborating with them on a yacht that would be so strong streamlined and futuristic that it would look like a spaceship on the open seas. F.A. Porsche latched onto the idea, excited by the challenge of creating a yacht unlike any other. And though the process took 10 years, I would say that just speaks to the thought and hard work put into the design of the Royal Falcon 1. And boy, what a design it is. The Royal Falcon 1 is incredibly unique because it is not a standard super yacht. It is a catamaran, elevated out of the water like the, well, elevated yacht that it is. M. A. Zamon, the CEO of Royal Falcon Fleet, reportedly wanted to go with the catamaran design so the Royal Falcon 1 would stand out no matter what marina it's in. In addition, the catamaran design offers two other benefits. Benefits. It's much more stable on the open seas, and the raised living spaces means that no bedroom or lounge is below deck, providing unrivaled views of the seas. This exterior design also allows for more curves, because my, 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 is she one curvy lady, or, well, yacht. The curved organic edges found on the exterior of the yacht set it apart from all the others. But the Royal Falcon 1 doesn't just deliver on looks and design. It does delivers on performance as well. It has two 4,000 horsepower 16V diesel engines that provide a top speed of 35 knots and a cruising speed of 30 knots. With a range of 2,000 nautical miles, this yacht can whisk you from New York to the Caribbean with ease. And with 135 feet in length, there's plenty of room to enjoy yourself while you're on that journey. The yacht has four decks with several lounging areas. On the upper deck, you'll find perhaps my favorite area of the boat, the sun deck, which features a hot tub with breathtaking views of the water. Here, you can see those organic edges at work yet again, extending from the stairs leading up to the hot tub to the sun pads along the edge of the yacht. In the center, there is a small circular bar, which is yet another simple design element that can be found throughout the yacht. There, you can have the crew serve you drinks while you lounge in the hot tub, because after all, this yacht can fit up to 10 crew members. Unlike most yachts, it's on this upper deck that you'll find the master suite. Upon first glance, you may be surprised to see that the yacht isn't dripping in opulence. There are no gold sconces here, no exotic fabrics shipped in from the middle of the rainforest, and no clash of expensive patterns and textures. Instead of opulence, this ship offers subtle luxury. After after all, it was designed by Porsche. The focus of the interior is on clean lines, open spaces, and quality materials. Reminiscent of the bar just outside the doors, in the master suite, you'll find a circular wardrobe in the center of the room at the foot of the bed. The view from the bed is a wall of glass, which automatically opens to reveal your very own private deck. There's also a lounging area with fine leather seats designed to blend in seamlessly into the wall and the natural curve of the ship. On a quiet morning, it'd be the perfect place to have some mimosas and unwind before starting your day. The master bathroom, in my opinion, is one of the most Porsche-inspired rooms on the ship. The largely monochromatic palette is accented by a touch of red leather, similar to that found in the interior of dozens of Porsches. But perhaps my 
favorite thing about the bathroom is the fact that it has windows. Oh, there's nothing quite like taking a luxurious warm shower with a view of the ocean. Of course, the other suites on the ship are impressive as well. There are five cabins total on the ship, with enough room for ten guests. In addition to the master suite, there is a VIP suite on the upper deck and three guest cabins on the main deck as well. The guest suite carries the same monochromatic pattern and includes the same quality materials found in the master. Naturally, each suite features an in-suite bathroom, which has a raised circular sink and a large shower with the finest hardware available. Then, there's the important part of the yacht, the living areas. The main deck features a massive end-to-end -end saloon, which is perfect for entertaining. On one end, you'll find a luxe dining area. There's seating for 10 at the dining table, where your personal chef can whip up deluxe meals for you and your guests as you recline in the stark white leather chairs. When it's more of a cocktail hour, you can mill about on the leather seating that wraps around the edge of the building, or meander out onto yet another sun deck just beyond the automatic glass doors. There's a small bar to the side, because if there's anything this boat isn't lacking in, it's bars. Perhaps the most unique feature, however, is the lighting. The futuristic ceiling lights function almost like art pieces, guiding your eye down the length of the ship and inviting guests to head down the hall to the other end of the main saloon. The hall itself really lives up to the spaceship concept behind the yacht. The glossy blue walls are one of the only splashes of color on the ship, and they give a futuristic space-age touch to the otherwise simple color and design elements. The other end of the ship is where I'd be spending most of my time, the main bar area. That's right, there are two bars on the same floor here. The main bar is a thing of true beauty. The curved lines and circular lights above create a cohesiveness between this room and every other room aboard the ship. And the glossy bar top makes it feel classic, yet forward-thinking at the same time. There's ample seating around the bar, with plenty of room for guests to lounge and chit-chat as they drink away. Outside, there are several other sun decks that offer a place for guests to enjoy all the open seas has to offer. But there is one other element of the ship that takes that to the next level, the Tender Garage. The Tender Garage gives you a place to store your ship, jet skis, and water toys to fully enjoy time out on the water. And with the two decks on the back of the ship only inches out of the sea, it'll be a breeze for family and friends of all ages to slip in the water and enjoy. That all all being said, this yacht was built to impress, but at what cost? I mean seriously, how much is this bad boy really worth? The previous Porsche yacht I did a video on, the GTT 115, had a startling price of 11.5 million euros. This yacht happens to be 20 feet longer and has more bedrooms and suites, so it's bound to cost quite a bit more. Well, what do you think it's worth? 20, even 30 million dollars? Well, I suppose the only way we can find out is to submit an application. And after looking at this thing, I think I might have to do just that. So, there you have it. The Porsche Royal Falcon 1. What do you think of this yacht? And how much do you think it's really worth? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip to doodly-doo.